Ever wondered why Mardi Gras, a festival of vibrant colors, intricate masks and grand parades, is celebrated with such fervor? Mardi Gras is more than just a flamboyant carnival. It's a tradition steeped in history, a rich tapestry woven with threads of culture, religion and celebration. A tradition that has evolved over centuries, traversing continents and adapting to changing times. From ancient beginnings to modern day festivities, Mardi Gras has a story to tell. Join us on this fascinating journey as we unmask the captivating history of Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, surprisingly, dates back to ancient times. This vibrant festival that ignites cities with color and music has its roots in the ancient Roman era. It's a fascinating journey back in time, where we find the beginnings of Mardi Gras in the Roman festivals of Saturnalia and Lupercalia. Let's start with Saturnalia. This was a week-long celebration in December where the Romans honored Saturn, the god of agriculture. The festival was characterized by extravagant feasts, gift giving, and a temporary societal role reversal where slaves became masters and vice versa. It was a time of merrymaking and indulgence, an echo of the revelry we associate with Mardi Gras today. Then there was Lupercalia. This festival involved feasts and a peculiar tradition of men running through the streets with goat or dog skins, playfully slapping women to bestow fertility. As the Roman Empire grew and Christianity began to rise, these pagan festivals faced a crossroads. The early Christian church, instead of eradicating these deeply ingrained traditions, found a way to incorporate them into the Christian calendar. The church transformed the hedonistic celebrations into a prelude to Lent, the 40 days of fasting and penitence before Easter. The term Mardi Gras itself means Fat Tuesday in French, reflecting the practice of indulging in rich fatty foods on the eve of the fasting period. The church sanctioned this day of festivity, allowing people to revel and feast before the austerity of Lent. The elements of Saturnalia and Lupercalia were thus woven into the fabric of this Christian holiday, creating a unique blend of the old and the new. The transformation of these ancient festivals into a Christian holiday marked the birth of Mardi Gras as we know it. This celebration, steeped in antiquity, has evolved and adapted over centuries, carrying with it the echoes of ancient Rome. Thus the foundation of Mardi Gras was laid, blending the festivities of the old with the teachings of the new. As time progressed, so did the celebration of Mardi Gras. In the medieval heart of Europe, the festival transformed, introducing traditions that have become synonymous with the event. One such tradition was the Boeuf Gras, or Fatted Calf. This grand parade of an ornately decorated and lavishly fed calf was an extravagant spectacle that captured the spirit of indulgence and celebration before the onset of Lent. But what would Mardi Gras be without the allure of the masquerade? Medieval Europe also saw the arrival of this enchanting tradition. Under the veil of anonymity, lords and peasants alike could mingle, revel and partake in the festive chaos. The masquerade ball became a space of freedom and expression, a night where the social order could be turned upside down. These traditions, the boisterous procession of the Boeuf Gras and the captivating masquerade balls, added a new level of grandeur to the festival. Mardi Gras, with its vibrant colors and grandeur, had begun to take the shape we recognize today. The celebration of Mardi Gras crossed the Atlantic, bringing its unique charm to the new world. As the 17th century dawned, French explorers, filled with a spirit of adventure and a longing for the familiar, brought this vibrant tradition to their newfound land. Among them was Pierre Lemoyne de Beville, who, on the eve of Mardi Gras in 1699, set up camp on a plot of land he named Pointe du Mardi Gras, marking the holiday's first known celebration in America. Yet it was not in this early encampment, but in the bustling port city of Mobile, Alabama, where the first formal American Mardi Gras took place. Initially, it was a simple masquerade ball held by French settlers in the early 1700s. But as the years passed and the population grew, the celebration began to take on a character of its own. Soon enough, the heart of Mardi Gras in America moved further south, to the vibrant city of New Orleans. Here, the festival began to resemble the grand spectacle we know today. With the dawn of the 19th century, 
came the introduction of societies or crews, private clubs that organized the parades and balls that have become synonymous with Mardi Gras. The first of these, the mystic crew of Comus, debuted in 1857, enchanting the city with their themed parade of floats, a tradition that persists to this day. Throughout the years, these crews have continued to evolve, each adding their own unique touch to the festivities. From the flamboyantly festive crew of Zulu, known for their coconut throws, to the philanthropic crew of Rex, which has donated millions to local charities, these societies have shaped Mardi Gras into a celebration of community, creativity and charity. As the floats roll down the streets of New Orleans, adorned with beads, baubles and the vibrant colours of purple, green and gold, they carry on a tradition that has been centuries in the making. Mardi Gras had now established itself as an integral part of American culture. Fast forward to today, Mardi Gras stands as a testament to centuries of tradition and celebration. Bursting with vibrant colours, pulsating music and a heady mix of laughter and camaraderie, the festival is a living, breathing embodiment of cultural identity and social cohesion. No matter where you find yourself in the world, from the lively streets of New Orleans to the festive corners of Sydney, Mardi Gras paints a universal picture of unity and celebration. The festival's essence, deeply rooted in its ancient origins, continues to thrive amidst the modern festivities. Today, Mardi Gras is less about the pre-Lenten feasts of yesteryears and more about the celebration of life and diversity. Parades adorned with elaborate floats and costumed revelers wind their way through cheering crowds, while the air teems with the excitement of catching throws, a tradition that harks back to the festival's early days. But beneath the riot of colours and sounds, the heart of Mardi Gras beats strong. It's a time to set aside differences, to come together as one, to celebrate the rich tapestry of cultures that make up our world. And it's this spirit of unity and celebration that keeps Mardi Gras alive, making it more than just a festival, but a testament to the enduring power of tradition and community. Mardi Gras, a vibrant spectacle of history, culture and tradition, continues to captivate hearts, transcending borders and generations.